and welcome back or to the channel. This looks a little different, doesn't it? Bronco's actually inside. We're actually working on another video right now for that guy out there. Um, you'll probably see that in the next upload, but there's a reason why we're doing what we're doing right now, and you'll see in the next one. It's actually good news, so wait for that. Also, before I get into what's going on here, beginning of the video where I came out of that snow pile, literally put it in four low and put it in crawl gear, got it out, and that, that's honestly nuts. This thing, obviously, if you guys are new, two door, hard top, and it's a seven speed manual, so we do, in fact, have the crawl gear and this crawl gear here like i said it just grabs it literally just grabs it makes it actually crazy to drive however there is an issue with this bronco and we'll get to that shortly we're just sizing some things up this is a 36 1450 versa tire don't mind wheel size or any of that I'm just trying to, you know, see tire sizes compared to the Bronco. These wheel wells fit even this 36 pretty darn well at stock height. I mean, it, it like perfectly, perfectly curves it. So I'm like, I don't even think that's big enough. And let alone here is a 35, 12, 50 back here. But that literally also fits pretty darn well. And these, like, obviously, you know, this Bronco is still stock height. I was just trying to size some things up because I've seen people fit like 35s on a three inch lift with just a, you know some offset and they said they had to do some trimming up here. Usually on all Fords including F-150s these crash bars but on this Bronco apparently they come right out which is pretty sweet. I think you might have to take the bumper off but I don't know. And then there's another one back here but both the crash bars come out if you need just a little bit more clearance. And if you saw my Instagram post a while back, you know that we have the world's largest Bronco lift kit coming. Right now, Rough Country is currently the biggest, but the one that's coming for this is even bigger. Rough Country has a five inch ready lift, all BDS zone, all of them pretty much have a two, three inch max on this. But the one we have coming, it's a full coilover system and let's just say it's bigger than five inches. And that's what I was just trying to see what tires will fit, even with a little offset, with no offset, um, and all that. that. That lift we got coming can, in fact, clear 42 inch tires. Now, it'll clear 42 inch tires. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. If you remove those crash bars. However, I also think that'll fit 42s at the lift height with the crash bars removed, probably zero or a positive 12 offset. So anymore, you might be running into some major clearance issues. I know for a fact it'll clear 40s on a like zero offset because I've seen pictures. I personally like a little bit wider tire. I'm just trying to figure out if this will be my max. A 38 or actually a 40 will be my max at that lift height. Now that it's February, um, about a month from now, into that month, all the stuff for this should start showing up. However, today I'm gonna go over the Broncos Number one issue, and it's across the board. Every single one has this problem, and and I can't even explain. Um, this thing, for lack of a better term, it's fun to drive, but it's an awful driving experience. That throttle is so beyond laggy, it's, 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 it's really, really bad. As you guys know, I put throttle boosters on all my vehicles. However, in my own personal experience, this Bronco is the worst one of them all stock throttle sensitivity. It honestly makes driving this manual transmission very, very, very difficult. So we're gonna change that today. All right guys, so our friends over at Banks Power, now there's a lot of throttle boosters out there. I don't wanna say it, but I've got other, I've got, uh, I've had other throttle boosters on my vehicles before. And when they die, they die. Your truck, your vehicle, whatever you're driving literally goes into limp mode. But if for some reason this happens to this, um, you're good to go. It goes back to stock. You can keep on with your merry way. You'll definitely feel a difference, but um, your vehicle literally will not go into limp mode and limit you to 10 miles an hour, which has happened to me twice. But since I did this, absolutely no issues whatsoever. We have a eye dash for the, the, the Bronco. Gives us obviously our gauges. It is turbocharged, so you'll be able to see boost pressures and all that. Uh, the the I dash literally reads every single parameter of your vehicle. It's unreal. Single gauge pod kit allows us to mount it to the uh, windshield, and then right here is our pedal monster. So before we install this, I literally told Banks when I ordered this, I wanted to give one away because I, I, I feel like a lot of you aren't catching my drift on this. I want to give one of these away to one of you. 
doesn't matter your vehicle, any vehicle with an electronic throttle, we can get you set up with a pedal monster. In order to win one, like I said, free of charge, it's gonna get shipped right to you. Like this video, comment on this video, and then follow me and Banks Power on Instagram. Uh, maybe about a week, week or two from now, we'll be picking a pedal monster winner and it will get shipped straight to you. I just want one of you to experience this. That's my goal here. And uh, I'm excited to do that. But like I said, like this video, comment on this video, and uh, follow Banks Power on Instagram, and follow me on Instagram, and you're automatically entered, and one of you will go home with your very own Pedal Monster. But all right, guys, we're gonna install the iDash and the Pedal Monster. Um, they go hand in hand, they connect together, so you don't have to use the Bluetooth function. You can actually adjust the throttle on the, uh, the Data Monster on the dash. Um, but we're gonna get this thing installed, and uh, take it for a drive and show you the incredible difference of doing something so simple. When I first got this Bronco, there's a lot of things I noticed that were just right. Um, this dash panel underneath the steering wheel, look at this, that's incredible. Designed it so when you popped it off, it folded down with excess wire included. So, I feel like as the future goes on, these companies are going to get a lot better at, you know, helping the end user do things <laughs> to their vehicle because that is pretty sweet. So it's not hanging. You can actually open it with the wires connected. That is pretty sick. All right guys, so this is kind of like the first drive. We just went around the corner, but I can tell you right now, already, we'll go through all, well not six, but we'll get, I think probably at least up to four or five here. But literally, you don't understand until you drive one of these stock till now, that this thing actually feels like it has power behind this 2.3 liter. And obviously, you guys know a stick shift Bronco, you can only get it in a 2.3 liter for some weird reason, which kind of sucks. But with this pedal monster, this Bronco is a completely different animal. I mean, it's still a Bronco, it's still a horse, but you catch my drift. I don't even have to do anything anymore. And before, the, the vehicle wouldn't even be that responsive. You had to push the pedal so dang far to get this thing to move correctly and actually feel like it had something behind it that uh, it was just awful but, um it actually feels like it's in sport mode not like eco mode so this is great <laughs> this is literally great Ooh. all right guys well get you another pattern here but literally it's like it almost like i said it almost feels faster but not so much that it gives me the ability to actually shift this thing the way it should Sorry for the bumpy road, but this Bronco's taking it like a champ. But it, it actually allows me to shift. It actually allows me to sh like p go to the next gear and it not fall flat on its face and have to rebuild boost, rebuild RPMs. 
gets rid of like turbo lag too. I don't know how, it did the same thing in my truck, but literally turbo, it's there. You can hear it, you can hear it spooling, and it, it just thing just wants to like go. All right guys, well there's the first drive with the Pedal Monster on the Bronco. As you know in this lineup, Pedal Monster, Pedal Monster, and Data Monster. Ashley's Jeep, don't worry about it. We definitely gotta do a lot of modifications first, but a pedal monster will be on that JK because that thing's almost even worse than this. JKs are terrible, literally terrible for dead pedal. JLs, not so bad. Broncos, awful. Jeeps and Broncos, probably hand in hand, the worst dead pedal of them all. There is a pedal monster on it, but as you guys know, with what it is, <laughs> probably shouldn't have one on it because the thing just roasts tires. There's also an eye dash in the Hellcat as well to see like supercharger pressures, all that fuel level, that whatnot. And then obviously our compound turbo six speed Cummins has a pedal monster and an eye dash in it as well. But yeah, guys, there's a reason why everything in this lineup either has or will have a pedal monster on it. So that's why I'm giving one of you guys the opportunity to win one. Don't forget about that. Like this video, comment on this video, follow me, follow Banks Power, and you're automatically entered to win. And within about two weeks, we will pick a winner. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Drop me a comment while you're down there. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Take care, I will see you guys in the next one. Pink truck's almost done. Once the weather breaks, both of these are gonna get started. And um, lots more to come than what's just currently sitting in the driveway. Take care guys, I'll see you soon.